Good morning everyone! Welcome to a new Super 69 EV film. <clears throat> Let's just dive straight in. I have a question. Is there anyone who has solved cooling issues on the BMW i3s? I went on the Autobahn last weekend and I was hammering away and the car sits perfectly at 162 kilometers indicated and it's like 160 GPS so it performs as advertised it works flawlessly but in no time it's overheating and there's nothing you can do other than uh, just yeah back down slow down and I don't want to slow down is there anything that can be done to the engine and I'm asking because I was looking into Teslas this weekend again and uh, I saw that Unplugged Performance have uh, a cooling kit for the Model 3 Performance for the front and rear motor and what it does is that it it's almost there's like a sort of oil filter on it and Unplugged Performance made a version that is both bigger and has cooling fins so that uh, wind from driving cools the oil that goes through it and uh, the engine temperatures are lower and I thought that looks like something the i3 could benefit from massively but then again I don't know enough about the engine cooling of the i3 is it all liquid cooled or is it all um, or is there also oil that could be cooled and could benefit from it I, I just don't know I'm I'm not a mechanic uh, I'm not an engineer so yeah I severely lack knowledge about this topic and that's why I'm asking you is there anything that can be done to improve cooling on the BMW i3 so I can have it sit at 160 for hours or until the battery drains which it does quite quickly but I just would I would love to take it to a track day and just hammer away in short sessions but have full performance for like at least two laps of the Nürburgring or at least a 20 minute session on Salford or something. Is that too much to ask? I think it should be possible. Uh, the, the battery is liquid cooled and stuff so it's not that you only can cool it from uh, driving around and, and having it cool down uh, through wind and the, the VW uh, E-Op has such a cooling yeah, once the heat is in the pack, just forget it. Ooh, that's nice. That's okay, 55. Yeah, opposed to other EV drivers, I'm still very much in love with the internal combustion engine. But that, that's a topic for another time. Yeah, I know I should just buy a track car and like buy an old MX-5 or something, but... I don't want an extra car, it's extra hassle. I love having two cars, but now I need to get this cooling sorted. I want to be able to hammer away indefinitely. So, is there anyone who cracked the code? Because it's pretty much perfect. Also, on the topic of track driving and enthusiast driving I bought a new mod it's underway and I expect it to be with me in like one and a half weeks so stay tuned for further updates yeah, that's it for now just a short video but I really wanted to make it because maybe there's someone who says yeah just do this and this and add this or do I don't know just Anyone who has anything to say on the topic, please let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching. 
thank you very much for help and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye. Have a great day.